it's hot summer is here we are ready to start talking about the summer market in college Glen. here we go Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your College Glen neighborhood real estate specialist. Been living in College Glen for over a decade. What is it? Uh, 12, 13 years now. Great neighborhood in the eastern part of Sacramento. Love doing real estate there and doing life there. Awesome spot right next to the American River Parkway. Great for running, cycling, paddle boarding, all that good stuff. So let's talk the monthly update here. We've got June, 2022. We're gonna talk about what happened in May, 2022, and what's going on in the market right now as we're getting into the middle of summer. All right, here we go. So May, 2022, a little bit of an anomaly as far as there was only three properties that closed escrow. Uh, we've got the two properties that were in the high 500s there on Garden Glen. Um, that was my listing. We closed that one, uh, went well above list price. It was priced right. It showed really well with the staging that we had and I had great marketing on it. And so it went over list price in only four days. We had a couple of offers on it there. Uh, property on Wiseman closing for 590. So, you know, pretty normal there. High 500s, low 600s is usually kind of around where stuff is at. However, we got a biggie that closed escrow uh, on Mediterranean. It's in a cul-de-sac. It's got a pool. Uh, it was almost 2,100 square feet on a large pie-shaped lot. And that baby went for 705. So that's kind of the tail end there of the peak of kind of the market, I think, that we're ex we were experiencing. And now things are kind of leveling off. So right now moving forward anomaly as far as may and only three closings we should have more closings in june i believe we've got i believe five active listings in the neighborhood right now and nine pending so we've got a good amount of stuff that's in escrow that will be closing so as i alluded to the market has kind of leveled off a little bit we've had stuff that's been sitting for a little bit longer some price reductions it's a mixed bag right now definitely some are coming on and they're having a couple of offers and selling right away. Other ones are sitting and having price reductions because they started too high. So it's a pretty balanced market right now as we're in kind of the summer here in College Glen. Uh, let's see. One thing that's been a factor with that has been interest rates. Interest rates are now right at this recording kind of in the low sixes. A few months ago, I mean, they were in the threes and fours. So we've had some significant increase going up there and that has caused some pullback from the buyers as far as well. I was gonna be paying this month, this much in my mortgage payment a few months ago and now I'm paying this much, wow, I don't know. I either need to buy a little bit less of a house or I'm not quite sure. So the demand side of things has pulled back a little bit as well as inventory has increased just a little bit. College Glen, not so much, but Sacramento as a whole, we've got more inventory. So. For almost two years though, we had just insane amount of demand and hardly any supply. And now what's gone on is inflation and interest rates. The demand has come down a little bit and the supply has gone up a little bit. So we're kind of in this little pretty balanced market right now. Like I said, mixed bag. Some will sell right away, multiple offers over list price. Others will sit, price reduction, You know, eventually negotiate only one offer and stuff. So that's what's going on in the market. If you're thinking about selling, it's crucial right now that you end up in that first category where you're priced right, show well, have good marketing, because you're not only gonna get top dollar in the sales, but you're gonna have the best process from start to finish as far as you got a buyer. If you can get two or three offers, then that buyer, they're basically thinking, man, I beat out those other ones. I'm, I'm gonna be reasonable here. If you've been sitting on the market for a month or two, you've lowered your price, you eventually get a buyer, typically that buyer is gonna to try to negotiate with you a bit more as far as, eh, we found this and this and this with the home inspection here, we need to negotiate some, some adjustments or a credit or some repairs, those types of things, okay? If you're a buyer, just be aware, you should be checking in with your lender very regularly, figuring out what's going on with rates so you can stay up to date on what payments would look like, as well as be ready. Even though the market has kind of leveled as far as who's in favor of the market right now, 
there's still properties that are moving really fast. I've got a property not in College Glen, but in Carmichael right now. It's only been on the market for two days. I got like five offers on it. It's just because it shows great and it's priced right and has good marketing. It's moving. Other properties around the corner from it and stuff, they've been on the market for 20, 30, 40 days. They're overpriced or they just don't show well, those types of things. So that's what's going on in College Glen. If you want more information, check out my website, collegeglenrealestate.com. You can call, text, email me. I am your neighbor. I am looking to meet with you if you need to sell or if you want to buy and get into the neighborhood. Let's connect. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. I look forward to talking to you soon and clear skies.